Ryan Gottfordson here, and one of the things that I love about my job as a leadership consultant is I get to step into kind of the issues, the thorny problems that leadership teams are dealing with. And over time, I've been able to pick up on some themes. Now, one of the themes that I've commonly found as I work with organizations is a phenomenon where the leadership team, the executive team, acknowledges a problem in the organization. They don't necessarily see that they have a problem, but they send all of their executive VPs and VPs to go get training on something. And then at the end of the day, the critique comes back, well, this was great, but our, is the executive team getting this training? Let me give you an example of this. As I talked to a client just this last week and they explained this phenomenon where they brought in Liz Wiseman, uh, which she's fantastic to do some work within their organization uh, around being multipliers as opposed to being accidental diminishers. And they, the executive team loves Liz Wiseman. They love her ideas and they've essentially said, okay, Liz and your team work with our executive VPs and VPs on how to be multipliers as opposed to accidental diminishers. But the group that I'm talking to, which is the leadership development team of this organization, they're essentially saying, well, it's going really well with our executive VPs and our, or our senior VPs and our VPs. But what we're seeing is that our executives, they are operating as accidental diminishers. And, and here's a couple of nuggets to take from this. One is that, and I've said this before, but that the level that the executives operate at sets the ceiling for the organization. And that's ultimately what this organization is running up against, is that the executive team is setting the ceiling. It's not quite where it needs to be. They need to elevate. And the only way that they're going to elevate is they've got to work on this. They've got to work on this issue of being accidental diminishers. In fact, where does accidental diminishing come from? Uh, let me give you a quick example. Like micromanagement would be a form of accidental diminishing. Nobody sets out to be a micromanager, but it happens. Why does it happen? Well, it's ultimately because the leader who is micromanaging has a fear that if I don't step in and get super involved, that things are gonna hit the fan. Things are gonna go on fire. Bad stuff's going to happen. Because ultimately, at the root of the issue is the, that leader has trust issues. Now, I could teach leaders, here's what you need to do to not micromanage. But until you deal with the underlying trust and fear issues, that leader is never going to elevate. So moral of all of this is that, from my experience, executive teams haven't done enough work on themselves to surface and uncover the fears and insecurities that are driving any accidental diminishing tendencies. But if we could help them to awaken to those things and work on those things, what happens is they start to elevate themselves. And as they elevate, they are empowered and have the ability to elevate the organization. So just a, a few thoughts about patterns that I've seen working across organizations, across industries, and hopefully this is helpful to you. If you want to explore this further, don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'd love to connect. Thanks.